Hello to you. It is a new month. We're in September. Half of our year has already left us. I can't believe it, but we're here. We're living it. And this is our monthly movie tribute to Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi September. Uh, this still is debated if it's a sci-fi movie or a horror. But we're about to dive into the world of Phantasm. We are returning to Mr. Mike, Reggie, Jody, on The Tall Man. I'm excited. I have no clue what any of Phantasm is about. We watched the first one last year. The delusion of a disordered mind. A phantom. A spirit. A ghost. What I do remember is a hell of a groovy little dream that Mike had. Mike is the little brother to Jody. Jody passed away in a car accident and he's buried at the haunted, creepy, eerie cemetery that the tall man works at as the head mortician. Then we got Reggie who is the homeboy of Jody who has took little brother Mike underneath his wing. We all need a Reggie in our life. He is a great sidekick, the kind of friend that will not leave your side in trouble and will even probably die for you. Well, we're going to press play on little munchkin people in brown robes with mustard colored blood, flying killer silver orbs inside of a mausoleum, and a whole bunch of other funky stuff we're about to get into. Let's go. Uh -oh. Is he there to collect the body? Because he does get the living to be contributed to his cemetery. Oh, Jody. Our little rock star. Oh. Jody name if I can't I, I know it's been a year but I think we're picking up right where the first one left off at oh that's right Reggie he did not hesitate to go get that shotgun and bullets oh oh ew 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 it ain't got no teeth Oh, it's trying to gum him? Oh, no. Oh, hit him with the gun, Reggie. Oh, jeez. That little thing got a strong grip. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yes, Reggie. Uh, yes. Yes. I like it. Over. <laughs> My kind of man. Oh. I know, right? Damn, you ain't got no... He never did find the bullets. I say go for it. Mm-hmm. Thinking, Reg. That's right, yeah. How many is it? And what... So you just gonna let the house catch on fire and not get Jody? about um uh, well I guess anything can be a weapon yes 
Is that him? Oh, is he dead? Oh my word, they keep multiplying like ants. Oh, wow, just jump out the window with an unconscious job. But did the explosion really kill the little man? Because it didn't kill the tall one. I guess, you know, I guess the tall man, what happened to him after the explosion? Did he just decide to take a break and... You know, just let's go shopping. Give Mike chance to grow up. He didn't haunt him or anything. It just amazes me how these movies never show you the in between. Like, are the walls of a mental institution magical? It has protection powers against the, you know, the monster or the villain in the movie. <laughs> what? Well, I want to get up close and personal with a chainsaw. I like how Reggie thinking. Let's get some rifles, shotguns, grenade launchers, all of that. I like how you thinking, Reggie. Yes. Blast them right on off the map. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Mike doing. Alright, Reggie. Reggie, you might want to teach your homie over there, though. You know, because he over there playing with torches and stuff. And, mm -mm. Look at him. <laughs> he think he really something with this blowtorch. Reggie the one got the real power. What do they see in the dark? What's over there? This would be the time to use your torch, dude, so you could see. Is that one of them little monsters? Oh, that's Liz. Liz, what has he done to you? Apparently tied her up and taped her mouth. Rich. This is the one I was telling you about. The, the girl. Yeah, y'all yeah, been dreaming about each other. Oh! My! Don't let her go dead. What? Come easy, dare. Get the fuck back! That is so nasty! Oh my god! What was that? Girl, I know she's looking for her grandmama, but uh-uh. Not by yourself, girl. I've got to find my grandmother. She's gone. That's right. She gone. Let the authorities come find her. Let Reggie and Mike find her, but not you. And he not gonna run. He don't see this ball coming towards him. Ooh. Run. Something just chopped your ear. Oh, no. Girl, you just going to stand there. I would have been in the wind by now. She's still there. I bet you wish you didn't go look for your grandmama now, do you? Oh. 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 Oh, hell, Liz dead. I told you Liz was dead. Then to burn her right on up. And who is this employee? Is he from the town or is he from the depths of hell? Like, how did he get hired here? <laughs> oh, she's still alive? Girl, get up. Thank you. Oh. oh I thought he was going to break her neck. Oh. Oh, no. He human if he felt that. 
Girl, what temp service he came from? I guess that little chainsaw didn't come in handy. Was this supposed to be like a little nod to Texas chainsaw? Spared you and just cut that. Damn. Oh, he didn't cut him. He. This guy is really sparing Reggie's life. Cause he could have been killed him. Well, that's what you get for being a slowpoke and playing with... Oh, they got lasers now? Who upgraded the balls? They was not doing none of this in the other one, in the first one. Uh-oh. Oh, Ratatouille. You should have been quiet. You lost your life. We burnt the uh, temp temple uh, service employee. Oh, this another one. That ain't the same one. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Should have went to the local Home Depot and tried to get a job. Oh wow! Oh my God! And he's living through this. I don't think this is a celebration. For some reason, right? What's in there? It's been so much <laughs> horrid stuff jumping out. Oh. Oh, it's empty. Empty. <laughs> maybe this is. All right, well, maybe they did get away. Oh, shit. Randy about to get him a little BJ. All right. Good thanks for sticking with us. That's true. You know, I've been thinking about it. Oh, hell no. I knew it was a twist. I knew it. It just seemed too, too, it just seemed too easy. Why can't they get out? Oh. Oh, damn. Reggie died again. What is going on with Reggie? Because, I don't know. I think. I don't think he did. I think he just messed up. Who driving the hurts? Oh, girl just left him out there? Oh, y'all need to break a window. Jump out. Listen to me. This is not happening. We're gonna wake up. It's a dream. It's only a dream. Oh, you old bastard. Okay. I will say... This one was a little bit scary for me. This one was not only scary, it was a little bit gross, a little bit cheesy, but I liked all of it. I appreciate it. This one too made a lot more sense because we knew it wasn't a dream. Um, I'm mad that they keep injuring Reggie at the end of movies and not leaving us to know if the man is dead or alive. What is going on with that? Why y'all gotta do Reggie like that, man? Mike, even though he was older, he still was naive, um, and but he, he had a lot more guts. Like, even though, don't get me wrong, in the first one, he was pretty ballsy, but this one, 
he maintained that one. I'll give it to him. Liz, don't really know why they wrote her to join in on this plot because I still feel like this could have been a Mike and Reggie adventure like the first one. But I do like that they wanted, I guess, to write some type of female presence to be amongst the guys in the movie. So she did pretty good. Uh, I don't know what we're about to get into. Definitely left off with a cliffhanger. The tall man has got Liz and Mike and left Reggie on the side of the road. We'll see. Phantasm 3 coming up next. I'll meet you in that reaction. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys.